South African husbands are taking their wives' surnames. Gigi Lemayne and Cesar Alakane, who was formerly known as Reason, are rumored to be dating. American corn stars are asking their viewers and their fans to not vote for Donald Trump on the 5th of November because if he becomes president, he might ban corn. And the United Kingdom officially bans vaping. All this and more coming up next on The Breakdown with VJHD. Let's go. I want to know who motherfucking representing it here tonight. Breaking news, DA suspends. Name the actor or actress that cannot act, but people don't care. Let's have a conversation. You know what I mean? Watch The Breakdown. The Bloemfontein High Court has ruled that two husbands can officially take their wives' surnames. This comes after it found a section in the Births and Registration Act that is discriminating against gender. The ruling comes after two couples challenged the law and the husbands were given permission to use their wives' surnames. When the Bloemfontein High Court overturned the provi when the when the High Court overturned the provisions of the outdated law that prohibited this last week. The first couple who were identified only by their initials J said that they were told by an official at the Department of Home Affairs that the husband will not be allowed to assume the wife's surname as the system did not allow that. The reason that they wanted to actually keep the wife's surname is because the wife stated that her parents passed away when she was four years old and that the reason that they wanted to keep the surname and for the husband to actually change the surname was because the wife stated that the surname symbolizes her connection with her deceased parents. The second couple, Jess Donnelly Bornman and Andres Nicholas Bornman said Jess was an only child whose maiden surname was important to her. Before they married, she told her husband that she preferred to keep her maiden surname and would hyphenate his surname with her with her own, but they both did not want to have different surnames from each other and, the, and their children and preferred to continue their surnames to reflect their family unit. And Judge Joseph Mflavi said that the provision of the act failed to recognize modern societal values including gender equality, fluidity in identity choices, and the rejection of rigid gender roles. He said updating the law to reflect these values and promote a more inclusive and equitable society was essential. So all I have to say to this is congratulations to the couples. But for me, I wasn't going to do it, man. The reason why I, the reason I'm not going to do it is because I'm black, man. And there's a cultural thing for us black people to not actually do things like this. But if people actually want to do this, then they can. But all I'm going to say is it's not for me. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion on this whole matter. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. In the world of celebrating loves and relationships and nothing but beautiful companionship, Gigi Lemayne and Caesar Alkaline spark relationship rumors. It seems that a new celebrity love story is brewing as rapper Caesar Alakine, formerly known as Reason, and Gigi Lemayne have reportedly found romance together, according to Zimoja. Following his breakup with TV presenter Lud Love, Caesar Alkaline seems to have moved on. Seems to have moved on this time with Gigi Lemayne. A source close to the pair revealed that revealed to Zimoja that they were recently sported together cozy at the iconic Guamai Mai in downtown Johannesburg shooting an episode for a TV show. No. I did Yo, when I was getting the story, I didn't... So there's a reality show that they're starring in and they're revealing their relationship on the reality show. This is tough. This is tough. The couple is said to have been dating for a few months now and sources indicate that the relationship is strong with a shared passion for music binding them together. And actually, the story continues even further than that, even further than them dating. So apparently, according to Zimoja, the couple, Caesar Alkaline and Gigi Lemayne, seem to be making music together as a couple. That's what the article says. I didn't say that. That's what the article says. And I think this is going to be good for them. The reason I think that this is actually going to be good for them is because they will finally tell each other to stop making whack music. Oh, man. Do, do you know how long I've been wanting to say this? And I'm not saying this as a hater, but everybody knows I'm a bus I6.
It's not on. Petit convoy, I'm a pass size six. Gigi Lemaine, I'm black. I'm black and I'm black and I'm black and I'm black and I'm black. Me, they hate me but cannot replace me. My pen will it's scribbles in black. Ah, uh, bruh, no. No. It's not on. So I hope that since you guys are together and you both musicians, I hope you guys will adv advise each other and say this song is not on and actually make good music. We miss you guys on our radio stations and our streaming platforms. So please release something better. But also congratulations on you guys' relationship. Love is winning. Love is love. You know what I mean? In international news, adult film star in America launches a campaign called Hands Off My Corn. Can't say that word, but it's called Hands Off My Coin. This comes after them realizing that Donald Trump might actually ban the adult film industry in America. The Hands Off My Coin campaign has spent $200,000 so far on ads to run on adult websites, warning viewers that the prominent allies of Trump want to ban pornography and lock up the stars who bring it to vivid graphic life yo yo this is extreme this is actually very extreme i didn't think that they would spend so much money and for the mere fact that they're threatening to send them to jail is something i didn't actually see coming so if you're telling me that since you hadn't had a real job since you was 18 and all you do was undressing and showing the world that you know how to undress you could go to jail for that that is hectic. If you care about adult entertainment, if you consume or create adult entertainment, you gotta go vote on November 5th. This is stated by an adult actress, Sushi Q. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, one, society could really thrive if pornography didn't exist. If corn, corn, Hey YouTube, I said corn. If corn didn't exist, I feel like a lot of people would thrive. I mean, look at what happened to Sia Kulisi and um, Rachel. I mean, he even stated in his book that he he was addicted to it. You know what I mean? So I feel like as a society, we would thrive. And I also kind of was addicted to it. Remember my documentary, the um, my strange addiction video? Yeah, it's real. It's real out here. So hey. Maybe society could be better off without it, but that's just my take on it. What do you think? Let's move on to the last story. The United Kingdom is set to ban disposable vapes from the 1st of June 2025. So if you know that you're a vapor in the UK, you're in trouble. The sales of disposable vapes will be banned in England and Wales from June next year, the government has confirmed. Ministers in England said the move first announced in January by the previous government but not enacted before the general election is intended to protect children's health and prevent environmental damage. Now, vaping is a problem, okay? Let's just be honest, vaping is a problem. There's nothing cool about vaping because it's going to give you health problems in the future. It's like smoking cigarettes. It's like smoking cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes is also bad for you. And people will be like, yeah, but vaping is okay. Vaping is cool. Maybe I think something that is okay could be weed. I don't know, but it could, it could be weed. But that is also debatable on its own. But vaping is actually very dangerous. So kudos to the United Kingdom government for actually putting this plan in place. We need it in South Africa. We need it. You got high school kids walking around in these streets vaping. Some of them even carry vapes to school. I'm not in high school, but I see it with my little brother's friends. They're gonna be mad that I'm talking about this, but they do it. And vaping is a problem. We just gotta be honest. We just gotta be honest about it and actually find a solution. And the solution is ban it. Ban vaping and, and hubbies. Hubbies are a huge problem, especially in South Africa. Mm -mm. We don't need them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the breakdown episode two. Let me know what you think. Share your thoughts with me on the comment section and make sure to follow your boy on TikTok. It's at VJHD more and also on Instagram at VJHD. This is it for today's episode. Let's have a conversation down below on the comment section and please give us a thumbs up. And more importantly, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be coming with the news consistently daily. 
every day. You understand what I'm saying? This has been your boy, Choice, aka VJHD. Stay safe, stay blessed, and hop up bye.